Residents and garbage disposal authorities are condemning the dumping of what appears to be years of garbage dumped on a lot of land along the intersection of Kings Street and Lozac Road in Bastier. The garbage was unveiled as an old building that was located on the property was demolished and was being cleaned by local contractor Kevin Ninky Williams on the weekend and into the early part of this week. According to Mr. Williams, it appeared that the garbage was being dumped there for several years inside the building and became apparent as the building was being demolished and removed. A resident of Lozac Road said she has been complaining for some time now to the health authorities to have the matter addressed. My name is Paulette Osborne. I live at 31 Lozac Road. This property has been a bother. It has been a bother for a while. I've complained to the Ministry of Health and I think they checked. I don't know what has happened. But I want to thank Ninky so much for coming out and cleaning it up because it is a huge, huge mess. And it's been like this for a long time? About uh, a couple of years, um, I would say in the last three years, um, some repairs had been done on a house. It was a wooden house and they transitioned to concrete and all the materials from that house was put on, on the land. I asked if it would be picked up and I was told yes. And then I was told no, she's not picking it up. I don't know. Mr. Williams said such indiscriminate dumping is unhealthy. Well, as you can see, you have a building that is in front that was renovated. And um, after it was proposed as a business site, that's where I came in. And then I realized the kind of junk it is in the surrounding, inquire about the property owners, and then get consent to clean it up. And thus here I am now cleaning up, and this is discovery. I thought it was a simple task, but when I got here, and thus far, about 15 truckloads of garbage have already been taken to the landfill. So it's quite a, a task. And I just want to stress, and this is in a residential area, community area, and you can see that houses are all around. And that it, it's not a nice sight. You can see the kakarochi and the rodents and everything moving around. And people live nearby and just dumping the garbage. It's, it's so not nice. You know, and I just wish that people could take this as a warning and watch what's going on. And when they see these kind of things, they report it and make sure the authorities get involved and resolve these problems before they persistent and reach to this level. Meanwhile, litter wardens from the St. Kitts Solid Waste Management Corporation were on the scene and also condemned the illicit dumping. So we're just appealing to the public on a whole to stop the legal dumping. It, is ca it will cause a fine of $500 or exceeding $2,000 when entering to the court and found guilty. So we're just appealing to everybody out there, the surrounding areas, and mostly when people have dumping, if I like illegal dumplings, it sometimes be like people from outside the area come and dump, but this is look like an inside job. So we're just appealing to the general public on a whole to stop legal dumping in any, anywhere around in Ireland. Meanwhile, litter wardens from the St. Kitts Solid Waste Management Corporation were on the scene and also condemned the illicit dumping.